Hi, Sodi family. Check out our week. It is. And we're celebrating by going to the doctor. Yay! We have been married for 19 years. 19 is a long time. That's a long time. 19 is a heck of a long time. But before we do anything anniversary, I have to go to the doctors and get all of my tape and zip ties and stuff off of my You sound cut. like an old man fixing an engine. I do, and the, the engine is my leg. So they have to take everything off and I'm a little nervous about it. I'm back in the room. They're gonna do more x-rays to make sure that it is healing the way it should be. Hopefully it is, fingers crossed. And then they're gonna take all of the yucky stuff off of my knee. It's gonna be so disgusting. I mean, that was the worst one, so. <laughs> She's getting them off. <laughs> Let's show the kid. Yeah. She's right. free. Oh my goodness. Guys, things just went so quickly that it is insane. She just grabbed the tape and just ripped it off before Steve could even grab the camera. She just ripped the entire tape off. Super painful, but you know what? That's how you have to do it. Okay, we got it all wrapped up again. Um, we're getting ready to leave and I have some insane news, but I'm gonna tell you guys when we get home. I'm so excited. Crazy. Okay, we officially got back home um, and it's time for the good news. I'm gonna tell Taylor first. I can walk! She's allowed to walk really? again. I am. <laughs> I'm allowed to start walking. We went in and the doctor was like, are you ready to start walking? And I was like, yeah, in two weeks. And she's like, no, right now. <laughs> good so news. they, yeah, they told me eight weeks, but I think they tricked me. I think they did it just in case I needed to go the eight weeks, but they did the x-rays, everything is healing right, and so they said I can start trying to walk by putting like 25% weight. So still crutches, but like I can start walking and by the end of the week I should be walking without crutches. Big deal. Can you believe that, Taylor? Your mom's gonna be walking. Now I can walk <coughs> everywhere and check your room to see if it's clean or not. Congrats. <laughs> Girls! We have a surprise for you. I'm scared. It's more like a reveal. What? Ready? What? <gasps> I'm walking! Does it hurt? I'm walking! Look at her moving, she's walking. I can walk now. She's allowed to walk, that's our surprise. Wait, are you allowed to walk without the crutches? Um, by the end of the week, I'm not supposed to have any crutches. What? That's weird. So you guys better start putting your clothes away and stuff because she's going to be checking your rooms. I'm going to all your bedrooms and start cleaning them now. That is weird. That looks weird that I'm sitting down. Now we can wrestle mom. Let's get her. Okay, so all my kids besides Steven know that I can walk now, but he just walked in the door from wrestling, so I'm going to surprise him by walking to him. Okay, well, not actually walking, but crutching and telling him, look, I'm walking. He probably won't even notice. Steven. What's up? We have a surprise. I don't know what is that. The lady in the dark over here is walking on her foot. <laughs> you can walk? Walking. You can walk now? Uh-huh. Yeah, let's get it. Yeah. You put weight on it. You want to ra race mom now? Yeah, you want to race? Uh, sure. To celebrate me walking again after six whole weeks and being married for 19 years. That 19 too. years? We are going out to dinner. We left the kids at home. Hopefully they don't burn the house down. Um, and yeah, we'll be back. It's not joking about that right now. Yeah, it's too soon. Sensitive. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Do it. The food was delicious. I had fun practicing walking around. My knee is a little bit sore, but that's okay. I am walking, kind of. Putting 25% of weight on my leg, but I'll take it. That's walking to me. And tomorrow, guys, I kind of have a fun activity that I've been waiting to do forever and to show you guys. It involves a Christmas present that Steve gave me. So exciting. It's Tuesday, and there is a whole lot going on 
right now. First, Payne got to go to some of her new classes. Woodworking, art, choir. Did you have a good day at school? Okay, we're just gonna say that she did. All right. <laughs> also, we just got informed that there is a weather, like a, we <laughs> a weather warning that a huge squall, do you know what a squall is? No. Okay, I don't either. No, just joking. It's like a big winter storm is coming um, and it's going to dump a lot of snow, I think. So, let me know school tomorrow. But fingers crossed, no school tomorrow. I know that Jordan's hoping for that. Right, she said that what? what that teacher my said? teacher said that it might be a late start. Okay, so if it dumps enough snow, they'll um, start school a little bit later so that people aren't on the roads too early and it gets time for people to clear Hopefully, them. Hopefully, it's an entire snow day. Oh my gosh, what if we had an entire snow day? Yes, it makes no mess. Mom wants you guys at school though. Just joking, <laughs> it'd be awesome to have you guys home. You're Yay. being sarcastic. No, I'm not. Do you want to go to school or stay home? Stay home. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, look how dark it is out there. You can't even see the mountains. Okay, the storm has officially hit. The whole barbecue is moving. Our smoker and our barbecue is moving. There's a barbecue. It won't shut. Who's your barbecue? Okay, so Steven's not here right now. I texted him like five minutes ago and says, get home now. The storm is the coming, and it is off. crazy. Things are just flying everywhere right now. And the snow is coming in hot. You mean cold? I mean cold. <laughs> oh my gosh! No it's going to house. <laughs> this is not good. I'm shut the door. It's too cold. Wait, where? I'm already snowy. It's time for mystery date. A new adventure every week. On Christmas, Steve gave me this Christmas gift, which I'm not 100% sure what it is. I'm nervous about this. Wait, what? Why are you nervous? Yeah, if you're nervous and you did it, I'm a little nervous. So what exactly is this? So she scratches off one heart every week, and we have to do that date that week. Me and you? Me and you. And how many hearts are there? There is 50 hearts. So it's an entire year. A okay. year? You mean months? Yes, a whole year. A day. month? We're doing it once a week, Jordan. Okay. That's a year? Two days a day, and we'll be done. Math, Jordan. So real quick, I am barely walking on my leg, kind of with crutches at 25% weight. Are there things on this thing that I'm not going to be able to do? I uh, plead the fifth. Oh, <gasps> no. Are they going to New York City? What? Hey, I said that. Hey, what kind of dates are these? I don't know. Uh, so I just randomly pick one. What if it's one that I can't do? What do we do? You just burp. Excuse you. No. Just don't pick one that you can't do. That's impossible. All right, moment of truth. Which okay. heart are you going to scratch off? And I just grab this and I just scratch. I hope so. This is a homemade gift, so we'll see if it okay, works. Okay, so I don't know if I really want to go and do this first one. Maybe I'll just pick this middle one. No! It's the best one in the middle? Yeah, maybe. Do you guys even know what's in it? You know, it's because uh, yeah. the middle is always the best. Cause no, the middle yeah. Is and we're the no, best. No, yeah, we know yeah. what's in the middle. The middle? Really? Uh -huh. the children, the best. Wow. <laughs> Choose wisely. All right, I think I'm gonna do this one right here. It's staring at me. <laughs> I'm so nervous. All right, here we go. I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, so do, do I want to? I don't want to do it too <gasps> hard. Stop it. It's coming through. M. I see an M. Oh my Mary. gosh. Mary. Mary. Matt. Matt. <gasps> oh, look. Oh. And. And. Cheese. Mac and cheese. What? What? That doesn't make sense. What does that mean? Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. The Mac and cheese factory. <laughs> <laughs> the Mac and cheese factory. <laughs> mac and cheese day. She picked one that she can do. That's cheesy. It's Wednesday, and why do I have a microphone right in front of my face? I'm not a microphone. Guys, we are getting ready. It's podcast day, I think. If we can get all the technical difficulties figured out, I'm sitting at my seat 
Um, am I always gonna sit on this side? Yeah, that's your side. Oh, I get the Sodi side. Steve gets the brick wall side because we have not been able to secure S H O W in these letters. I do have O coming. Okay, so it'll be the Sodi O. And why are you here? I'm the editor. <laughs> I, don't, the I actually don't know why I'm here. I don't know why he's here either, but he's here and there are cords everywhere. I do not know what anything goes to. I'm just supposed to sit here and talk, right? Oh, look at my pretty flowers. So guys, go check out Sodi Show. Um, when you guys see this, we should have some podcasts on there for you guys to go watch. We are fully involved in filming our podcast right now, our Sodi show, and we get my dad knocking on the door, interrupting our podcast because our vacuum has destroyed my basement. It's not good. I can't, I can't get up. I'll bring you guys. Let's go. Got brought around the corner. Here's our vacuum and the toilet paper goes, it TP'd our house. Our house has been toilet papered by the robots. Oh no, it's even worse in here. Oh my gosh. How did it get off, how did it get off the roll? Boom. That's the question I have is, how did it get up there and like unroll it to roll it all the way through the hall? It's not good though. Messy. Okay, podcast is done. It went really well. Make sure you guys go check it out. Um, it was a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, yesterday we said that there was a storm coming, but you see what it looks like outside right now. <laughs> it's intense. Okay, ready? <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> no, it's flying! I almost tipped over, I almost fell over. Duncan's something. gonna get blown away. <gasps> Look at that, there's snow flying into my house everywhere. It was hail, like snow. Hail um at school. But now it turned to snow. Yeah. Okay, this girl's rocking out to T Swift with her brand new. Hello. Let me see them. Look at those. We just put on some press on nails. She has her beautiful nails and she's getting ready to do some homework. <coughs> you ready? What? That stuff looks difficult. It's easy. All you have to do is think, Mom. It's certain. Burn. Just got burned by an eight-year-old. What is going on? <laughs> that cannot be safe. And my son is so loud. Um, I was just sitting in my room and I hear mom go, "Hey, Stephen, look at the window. There's some random kids just on the street sliding down out of the back of a truck." I'm like, "What?" I open the window and I hear my friend laughing. I'm like, what the heck? They come down, my friends are out there just sledding in the back of the thing. So and obviously like, oh, you had to join them. I'm going out there, of course. I kind of just And you were louder out. than any of them. I could hear you. You could? Yes, screaming. <laughs> it was so fun. I was gonna be, I didn't feel like I was being loud. You were. Like, I'm like, <sighs> And now we're doing it. Steven had friends. Burn. And now we're doing it again tomorrow night. Tomorrow night? Yeah. And probably every night for the rest of the winter, so. Can I just sell it outside? It's Thursday, physical therapy day. This will technically be my first physical therapy session of probably many, which is disheartening. And anyone that I've talked to about physical therapy, they all say the same thing, that it is not good. Well, it is good for you, but it is not fun. I am preparing for the worst and hoping that I am pleasantly surprised. But guys, I have a little trick to show you. Look at me. Guys, I have graduated to one crutch. And I'm walking pretty good, even though it hurts. Every day I have noticed that I've been able to walk a little bit better. Yesterday I was with two crutches, today I'm with one, and I'm putting even more weight on it. So hopefully the physical therapist doesn't have me do anything too crazy and I can just keep improving every day. Well, let's hope they're nice to me. Okay, I'm back. Hey guys, don't get me wrong. I am super sore and that was painful. But it was not as bad as I thought it would be. It was kind of nice to start like moving around and bending things. I learned that my knee does not bend at all and doesn't straighten very well. So we were working on that and I gained like 11% on my bend and my straighten. Yes, it didn't involve 
the physical therapist pushing down on it and pulling on it, but you know, not too bad. But now I need to go twice a week. Um, what happened? I got a wig. My outfit's not complete. <laughs> what are, okay, what is this? So, I was thinking the Queen of Hearts, but then it also could be the Jest or the Jester, you know? All right, I like it. Payne's been waiting forever for this wig to come in. She got one a few days ago and it was like really, really bad. It had obviously been worn. The bangs were cut to here. They poked out. It didn't come with this piece right here, so she only had half the pieces and she was like devastated. So we sent it back. Fingers crossed that we would get the right thing that she ordered and ta-da! There it is! Her costume is complete. And what is this for? Me? For fun. <laughs> Guys, it's been about an hour and the look has gotten better. Much better. Are you ready? You are fully the queen of hearts now. Okay, close your eyes. Let's see. Oh my goodness. That looks so good. It's Friday guys and I am sore. My physical therapy session seemed okay. It was hard, but the next day I am feeling it so bad. But I've been given exercises to do at home. So yes, I am laying here trying to make it through my exercises. There's my little app that tells me exactly what I need to do. And guys, no joke. This hurts so bad doing the simplest things like trying to straighten my left leg. It's nearly impossible. Come on, leg, just straighten. Oh, what I got? Oh, nice. I got a picture of me. I can stare myself in the eyes all the time. Finally. Hey, actually, I get it because I bought it. I paid for that. You did pay for it, didn't you? I did pay for that. For that. You Hang want, it up in my bedroom. You want this hanging up above your bed like this sure. so that you wake up and you just see this guy? Sure, with the what? With the mouth zit? With the mouth zit. Right there. Okay, so I was walking to my bedroom and I came across this quaint little shop just right next to my bedroom. It's the cutest thing. The signage is adorable. It's eye-catching. Let me show you. Crochet scrunchies and rubber band bracelets. Scrunchies seven dollars and bracelets two dollars and twenty five cents. Wow, that's super cheap. What? Oh, what's going on in here? This is my bracelet store. This is your bracelet store? Whoa, what do we have here? There is a lot going on right now in this store of yours. I love it. I love it. Just gonna have to make a lot more money and then I'll be back. It's Saturday! We just dropped off Parker at a birthday party at a trampoline park. We're taking some of our kids out to lunch and then we're going back to the trampoline park. And guys, it is a snowstorm outside. I'm just gonna stay in here and let him be out in the snow. We'll see how long he like actually will sit out there. All right, well, I'm hungry, so. Oh, oh, oh. food has arrived. I must drop it. Hey, Jordan, why are you sitting right next to Blake? And uh, why are you wearing a jacket? Okay, so, she does not like butterflies antennas. She, she does not like She goes like this. She goes like <laughs> So anytime she sees <laughs> this shirt with the antenna, she can't, she gags. And that's why you can't eat, huh? So you have to sit right next to her and cover it. Are you gonna be able to eat? Watch this! My back! My back! Watch out! Found Parker! How was your party? Great! What do you have? I don't know! Oh, no, she! Oh. She's so brave! amazing forts. That video will come out pretty soon. It is awesome. Um, but we are kicking all the kids out right now because Steve and I have a date in the get Soda out. Shack. So get out! Goodbye, guys. Parker's not excited about the date night. They want to play in their forts. 
sorry. Okay guys, so earlier in the week, I scratched off my first date for the week and we are finally getting around to it today. And I scratched off a mac and cheese date. So one of our first dates um, that we had ever, I think it was one of our first dates, one of them, um, Steve made mac and cheese for me and played music and we danced. So he's making mac and cheese again. And the music's playing. And the music's playing. I'm not dancing right now. Look at my leg right there. Look, I can bend it a little bit. That's about as far as I can bend it. Ooh, look at that craft mac and cheese. Some sparkling cider, candle, and mac and cheese. Okay, so uh, that looks a little fancier than craft. So since our first date, or not, I guess it wasn't our first date, but since our, our mac, original mac and cheese date, I've been doing some research and some studying and some practice. It's still craft mac and cheese, don't worry, we got the packet. Yeah. But I am also mixing in some secret ingredients to make it even better. Do you think it's gonna be better? Oh, it looks delicious. My favorite. Okay, so uh, this mac and cheese is a lot fancier and really, really good. You like it? I like it. Right. Bacon bits, sour cream, it's super creamy, delicious. Oh my goodness. This it is bad. time for dessert and that... I made it from scratch. Right, right. That looks like you made it from scratch. <laughs> but that looks super delicious. 